Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my top five free applications from the Mac App Store. So the Mac App Store actually was released today, and if you don't know how to get it, you can just click on the annotation that's on the screen now, and you'll be taken to that video. I also talk about an upcoming jailbreak in that video as well, so you guys might want to check that out anyway, even if you already know how to get the Mac App Store. So I'm just going to open up my Mac side here, and the very first application I want to talk to you guys about is called Cafe. Now when you get caffeine, it's just a really light application. It just appears up in this top bar right here. And for the description, it just says prevents your Mac from going to sleep and displaying the screensaver. So I really, really like this application because I am in a virtual machine, which means uh, I am running this on Windows. It always tries to go to sleep on me, and whenever it does, I actually have to restart the entire thing, and it gets really annoying. So this way I can just have caffeine caffeine up and running while I'm downloading a big application for instance and go away and then come back and not having to worry about my Mac side freezing up. So that's why this made number one for me. It also has some pretty cool settings too. So you can go to preferences and you can automatically have it start at login and activate caffeine at launch and show this message when caffeine starts. I'm going to turn that off because I don't like to see this message because I already know it's up and running. And you can also also set the default duration so I have mine running for indefinitely but you guys can change it for like five hours however long you guys want uh, if you want your computer to go to sleep but that really doesn't apply to me because this is just inside of my PC so I really don't care how long it's running for now my second application is Evernote now many of you know Evernote from the very very popular Evernote iPhone and iPod and iPad app uh, it is just an amazing quick simple note application and I really really like it uh, it's really helpful for school you can do so much with it you can put pictures in it you can just put different types of notes you can email the notes you can access the notes from anywhere any computer any mobile device anything that basically has a web browser but this application takes it a little bit further and I really like it I can just drag things like to the trash for instance it is just spectacular so I'm gonna demonstrate one of my favorite features on it really quick. I'm not going to go too in-depth on this application because it is very big and it just uh, encompasses a lot of different things but my favorite thing perhaps is the ability to just copy straight to Evernote so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come up to my YouTube channel here and this is one of my videos it is the one click reboot for your tethered iPhone iPad or iPod touch and what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to select the description here and and I'm just going to right click and I'm going to copy it and then what I can do here is come up to this Evernote icon right there click and then go paste to Evernote and then it pops up with a new note and then I can title it YouTube video and then I can just save it from there or email it or I can change a bunch of different aspects like the font, font size, just everything basically. It's just a really helpful application if you guys are in school or even if you guys want to type yourselves some reminders or show somebody some of your notes. Now the third application is Stuff It Expander. So when you open it you just get this little thing on your desktop right here. Uh, you can move it around, you can actually close out of it if you want. But what I'm going to show you guys is the fact that I can actually take a zip file right here. Uh, I have my zip test and it also uh, supports a couple other different files but what you do is you just drag it right on top of it and I get a little bar right there and now it opens up the folder where it stuck it in and it actually put it just right on my desktop so as you can see it says my zip test and you can go inside of it and you can take out whatever was zipped up in it so I really really like this it is just a really nice small awesome uh, application and it also comes with a couple other things if you browse to my applications and go show and finder and you look for stuff it you can go inside of here and you get actually a couple other different things my second favorite thing within the stuff it whole little application thing is uh, drop stuff now when you open this up I can actually re uh, package this my zip test folder and I can put it in there and uh, as you can see it made it a dot stix which uh, is by default but I can also make it a zip so I can 
can just drag the zip over there and now it can go like that and as you can see it just zipped it up and it's just that fast and that simple you guys can play around with it I really like it I think it's insanely useful now the fourth app is Alfred so this is just a really simple application it has some preferences here uh, and I'm not going to go into depth on the preferences but I'm just going to demonstrate it for you guys really quick I'm just going to toggle it and for instance I'm going to search for ever and instantly even when I just type in EV it uh, automatically comes up with Evernote and I can just use the uh, actual Mac command key and then one and it launches up Evernote so uh, it is really really quick and really fast I can search for jailbreak and instantly I can search Google for jailbreak Wikipedia Amazon uh, it is just really fast really lightweight uh, I'm going to actually search for my my fifth application here and open that up just by typing in virus and now I'm going to load that up and talk to you guys about virus barrier express so virus barrier express is just basically a prevention uh, from viruses because as many of you know Macs are starting to become the target of cyber hackers and they're going to be targeted against way more in 2011 so this is something that's really good to have and it's just really easy and it's free and it's just really light and you can perform scans really easily so I'm just going to scan Evernote even though I know it's safe it tells me that it's scanning it and it says no infected files found I can also check my trusted files here I can scan it so I can do a quick scan uh, and as you can tell it is scanning it and it tells you the progress of it too I can also pause the scan and I can go up to view at the top and I can even set schedules so that's also a really another nice plus to this application overall I love all of these applications it was hard for me to put them in order but that's the order I put them in you guys should check every single one of them out I think they are essentials for all Mac users so I hope you guys like this video please comment rate and subscribe and also let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and what your top five free Mac applications are this is ICU signing out